What's going on, everyone? This is Matlas Fitness, and you are watching footage from my bench day from week uh, three of Wenlet 531. This is the 531 week. Um, next week, I'm going to go into week four, then obviously five, six, because I'm running a six week cycle. Um, this is my first working set, which was five reps at 85 kilos, which is about 190 pounds. Um, I felt uh, really, really good today, to be fair. So I've just done my three warm up sets. That was my first working set, and I felt really, really strong. Um, I was feeling good. This is my second working set, which is three reps at. Uh, my phone's just locked. Three reps at 95 kilos which is 210 pounds, and again, it felt very light, I felt very, very strong. Uh, moving on, this is my plus rep set. So this is the big one, this is the PR set every single time. Um, I was going for 107.5 kilos, which is about 237 pounds. The app told me the target to beat was six reps, and I managed to hit eight reps, which I'm really, really pleased with, because last week I managed eight reps at 100 kilograms, so to get eight reps today at 107.5, that is very, very decent progress. I'm really pleased. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I, I would have taken six beforehand, so eight, I'm well happy with. Um, like I said, um, I'm going to run a six-week cycle. So this is week three. Next week, I'll up uh, all four lifts in terms of the weight. So in terms of my training max, um, I think I'm planning to go five pounds for. Uh, overhead press and bench press and 10 pounds for deadlift and squat which is what uh, Jim Wendler recommends um, and I'll see how it goes um, this is my the first of my five sets of 10 which was at back to my starting weight so 85 kilos which again is 190 pounds and I think of the five sets of 10 this is probably the toughest one I've done so far obviously squats and deadlifts were far more uncomfortable but the last two sets of this bench, um, I almost didn't finish them. I mean, the first set felt really easy. First couple of sets were really easy, actually. But I was very tired from uh, from the eight reps at 107.5. Um, and so the last couple of sets were a bit of a struggle. But I just about got them done. And like I said, I'm feeling very, very strong at the moment. Um, moving on. Uh, this is the first of my isolation, my accessory work. I did some very light, um, really, really wide dumbbell flies, as you can see. I thought I'd have a go at doing them really, really wide. Um, to be fair, it put a bit of strain on my shoulder, so I wouldn't really recommend doing them. I just thought I'd have a go. Um, it felt good, but a little bit uncomfortable, so I'm probably not going to do these anymore. In hindsight, uh, it was a bit of a stupid idea. Um, I just thought I'd have a go doing something different. Um, there's a guy bending over in the background there. Um, that was deliberate. Just trying to get on camera. Um, yeah, I did three sets of, I think, 10 reps of these. Again, the weight was very light, um, but I was wiped out from the bench, and I pretty much went straight into these. As you can see, I'm on the same bench. I literally just sat up, got some dumbbells, turned around, um, and then went for it. Um, I then did some of Brian Nelson's favorite. Um, I did these kind of bent over uh, cable flies. Um, you'll see in a minute, you always have to do these back to the wall, um, just for general uh, safety, uh, health and well-being reasons. Um, so you can see here, I'm doing a nice big uh, bent over fly. The beauty of doing them bent over, as I said before, is it allows you to stress uh, to resist the entire range of the movement. You can get a nice big crossover at the end, and I personally feel a massive amount of medial inner chest um, engagement. Um, that's why I like them. I did three sets again of I think again about 10 to 12 reps I mean I'm actually finding doing these I mean this in particular I felt some really really good uh, like I said some really good medial chest engagement but I'm finding my accessory moves in general um, are really are kind of they feel almost more effective than they were before I started doing Wendler now I'm assuming that's because I'm obviously doing less whereas before I was doing loads and loads of different accessory movements um, and so it almost had a bit of a numbing effect whereas now I'm only doing uh, two, occasionally three exercises after my Wendler stuff, um, and it's kind of it just keeps it, it makes it a bit more fresh, a bit more exciting, a bit new, and obviously my body isn't having as much chance to adapt to it, and so um, it feels good. Um, yeah, and I finished the session with, as you can see, some lying overhead tricep extensions with a dumbbell, a single dumbbell, and like I said before, this is probably my favourite exercise for triceps, um, and that was that. So. 
Um, like I said, it was an awesome session. Um, I'm really, really pleased. I keep saying I don't want to jinx it, but I'm really pleased with how Wendell is going at the moment. I'm feeling really strong. I'm feeling like I'm making some really good improvements already. Um, you saw that with the bench just now. And yeah, hopefully it will keep going. Um, so thanks for watching. Uh, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you uh, tomorrow.